Okay, this is lesson two on orthographic freehand sketching. Um, in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at drawing the three orthographic views of this shaped block here. So similar to lesson one, we're going to draw an elevation, we're going to draw an end elevation, and we're going to draw a plan. So if I show you the basic layout here that we're going to do, that's going to be my elevation looking on the front. So I'll see this large shape here. I'll draw the plan view, which would be above the elevation. And I'll draw it here. And I'll see three, three squares or three rectangles here, here and here. And then I'll be sketching the end elevation looking from the left. So looking at it like that, I would see the front surface here. And I'd see a little bit of this back surface here. And we'll talk a little bit about what happens because I can't see this bit here, what type of line. Okay, so we're going to start, this is the view here I'm going to do, same as I've been doing in all the sketching lessons, I'm looking to start with a rectangle, so I'm just going to draw myself a, a crate, a rectangle, that everything is going to be drawn inside. Okay, so there is my basic shape. I know that in this one, these three bits, so these are thirds, this is equal to this, which is equal to this. So I'm going to try and split up this block into three equal vertical sections, like so is my starting point. And then I'm looking at this one, this bit here is slightly less than halfway and this one up here is about two thirds of the way up, but approximately. So this bit in the middle here is down here somewhere. And at the front, there is another part over here. So having done that, I'm just going to go around each of the horizontal and vertical lines, darkening them in, making them stand out from the construction lines which I drew at the start. So there is my elevation of my block. Okay, just did it that. I've now got that. So plan view, as we did in the second, uh, the first worksheet. Sorry, I'm going to turn my sheet round. I'm going to use the same length. So I'm going to project sizes coming straight up from my elevation. Choose a starting point for my plan and then draw in what I think to be the depth, okay? And I'm just going to go over that so that it stands out. Okay, so there is my plan view of my block, okay? So moving on to my end elevation, so that is going to be looking from this view here, from this side here, from the left, Again, project the heights across, make it nice and easy for myself. So I'm just going to rotate my paper around. I'm going to project the ground line along. I'm going to project the overall height along. I'm going to project the height here. And I'm also going to project the height here, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so I've taken some lines round. I'm going to choose my starting point. I'm going to decide upon how wide it is. And then I'm going to darken in what I actually can see. So what I visibly can see at the moment. So there's what I visibly can see. I can see a visible line here because I can see this edge here. I can see a visible line here because I can see this edge up here. And I obviously can see a visible line here from this corner. This line though is slightly different. This is representing where the bottom of this comes to. Now I can't see it directly here, so it can't be a solid outline, but I use a specialist type of line called a hidden detail line to represent that there's something there happening behind it, but I can't see it directly. So it's called a hidden detail line, which is a dashed line, which I will just add in there like that. So that is my three views of this shaped block. Okay, I'll just quickly label each of the views. 
So again, you're getting into the habit of knowing what all the different views are. The plan is always above the elevation. The end elevation is always to the side of the elevation, either to the left or to the right. And that is the end of lesson two. Good luck and enjoy.